I'm uh, Chris Ledoux. I'm a VFX supervisor, producer, and director on Pandora. And I'm Mark A. Altman. I'm the creator showrunner of Pandora. Okay. So. Uh, and a huge Buffy fan. Yes. <laughs> um, um, so, uh, you had a, a pivotal episode with uh, Manu Bitt. Uh Can you tell us a little bit about shoot, uh, directing that episode and like uh, some of the challenges and the yeah. feeling of the sweet, sweet uh, finish line? Yes, at the end. The biggest challenge with uh, my episode and with all of them was time. We had such little time from shoot to air that... When Mark came to me and said, you know, let's do a space battle in your episode, I'm like, great, great, how long do we have? And it's like, well, after you're done shooting, you'll have 30 days to cut it and do the VFX. So by the time we locked the cut, we had 18 days to do all the visual effect shots before we basically went, finished and went to air. We need a couple days in between, and the, uh, I think the post soup we got very nervous. And he's like, how many shots do you have in your episode of visual effects? I'm like, 350. And he's like... <laughs> How are you going to do that? And I'm like, I'm not exactly sure yet. So I think I made uh, made a lot of people nervous. So <laughs> it was, uh, but it was fun. I mean, it was making. It's a, it's a dream as a kid to go make space battles. You know, it's normally on a movie we would have you know probably two years to create something like that. You know, 80 shots for this one battle, but we did it in 18 days. You know, and it's uh, it's fun. We came with like it forced us to invent new techniques and new ways to do things. And, but that's the biggest challenge on the show has always been time. It's like, oh, oh, God, we just got into the shooting. It's great. Now what? Oh, you got to get on the air in a couple of days. Oh, go. So there was never any, uh, we're just now coming out of prayer. Um, um, how was it working with Manu? He was awesome. Yeah, he's a really funny guy. He's very insightful. He's, uh, we talked a lot about, actually, anthropology. And, uh, oh. Yeah, we talked a lot about human history. And he was a fascinating guy. And he has very strong opinions on what his character should do and where he should go. And so we actually, I really liked working with him. You know, I think uh, his character is very, uh, almost psychotic in a sense. And so it was fun to, like, bring that to life with him. And he's like, well, what is Psycho like? And I'm like, it's like <laughs> you know, we, uh, we had a good time. You know, the funniest thing about Manu was, um, you know how we ended up casting him? I saw an Instagram he was doing Romanian Comic Con. And I'm like, oh, he's in Europe. I wonder if he'd be interested in doing a show. We love Manu, and we're looking for, like, this sort of Boba Fett, like, bounty hunter. And it's like, and and it's like we reached out to Manu, and he was, read the script, and he was he was really into it, and you know he'd been bopping around Greece doing research on his character of Crixus from Spartacus, and he's like, yeah, I'm there. And a couple of days later, here he was in Bulgaria shooting, uh, in Sofia shooting with us, and he was a real character in the best sense of the word. Yeah, he was, he was a blast to work. Okay, with all the challenges that you you had. Uh in, in shooting the, in the time frame, um, what would you like to do in the your, your next go round? I mean, like the next season. Um, is there something that you you would love to to try to do? Yeah, more time. But, yeah, <laughs> more time. Even more, if you had more time, more but it's time. Like, uh, like to just some some effect or some. Uh, for me personally, I'd love to uh, take the characters into more foreign places. You know, uh, me, uh, Mark's the boss, Mark's the showrunner. We have very different opinions of what we like, though. <laughs> I'm not a Buffy fan. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Firefly? Firefly? Loves Firefly. Firefly. Oh, he likes Firefly. 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 Redeemed himself. Oh, okay. Firefly was yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. All right. Your brown coat. Okay. I, I think we're going to have a, dude in 1999. I think next season that. it's going to have more of a Firefly vibe anyway. It needs to be a little more rogue, a little more out, you know, a little more, a lot more space Will be more in space? More in space, yeah, a lot more, more space. space. Less college, more yeah, space. Yeah, I like serialized okay. a lot more versus procedural. And I think I would go, for me at least, you know, it's, I think, Star Trek's one of the few shows I ever saw that mixed okay. serialized to procedural into, like, this acceptable okay. formula. It's a hard thing to do. So Mark's got his work cut out for him. I think giving Mark more time to write and create as well as show run would be, like, what's the biggest thing? We had to, he, like... And this guy went like, oh, we're green lit. Like, what do we shoot? He's like, six weeks. <laughs> like, where are we shooting? Bulgaria. What? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, we got picked up in February. We were, uh, we were shooting in April, and then we were on the air in July. It was a pretty brutal schedule. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I think we're we can go on more adventures in other planets and things like that. I think yeah. we can. But well worth it. Well worth it. Yeah. 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 Y
Awesome. Can you I had no idea you were local. Talk a little bit about where you like to see and their own show. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's a little bit what we talked about. I mean, our plan next season, without giving too much away, is that we're going to spend a lot more time sort of unpacking the mythology, which we've only hinted at in the finales, the, the penultimate episode, the finale, and then um, spend a lot more time in space, and it's going to be much more serialized than it was because it, it always been planned to meet the characters at the beginning of the season, so those are very standalone, and then it becomes much more serialized in the back end of the season. So you know, we're going to jump. In there'll be a time jump and when we jump into it there'll be a lot more um, a lot more action um, and uh, we'll really uh, focus a lot on the, this troika that is um, Jax and Xander and Raylan and, and, and what you know that dynamic means and going forward because now Raylan is a pariah from his home world and he's on a planet that you know he never planned to really stay on and um, you know of course Jax has now discovered a lot more about who she is and she's wrestling with that and Gre Greg uh, John Harlan Kim is back in her life which is a challenge because she's now sort of has this relationship with Xander and uh, you know Osborne's put in a really bad place because he sort of kept a lot of secrets from people and half the Earth fleet was decimated you know in the, the, the this battle that Chris did and so he's lost a lot of stock in the um, you know among his superiors so he's going to be put in an awkward position where probably his power is going to be diminished and we'll meet a new character who's installed above of him to sort of um, you know right the ship so there'll be a lot going on you know we're going to jump in pretty cold and like just it's going to be a wild ride from start to finish you know if we get to do a new season which we're optimistic and 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 waiting to hear from the cw if we get picked up but you know based on the ratings and certainly on the fan enthusiasm i'd be surprised if it didn't happen um. I was going to ask uh, about your, the process of finding your cast. Um, not only did you find a, a good, solid main cast, but you got some really good guest stars. Yeah. Uh, some and we didn't get them all on Instagram. <laughs> and, and, and some new faces, uh, maybe to the American audience. Uh, can you talk a little bit about, uh, or, or is it, it is Instagram. <laughs> no, no, no. It, we, we, you know, it was, that was, it was the thing we were most worried about. It's like we had so little time, we're afraid, how can we put together a good cast? And um, we were just, the movie God smiled on us because we put together this really remarkable cast. I mean, Priscilla's fantastic. Oliver's amazing. You know, Ben. I mean, everyone down the line. We were really happy, and um, and and not only just really great on camera, but behind cameras too. They're just fun to be around, and they have a great energy. But then, much like Deep Space Nine, we started casting people for one episode, and they, we fell in love with them, and it was kept bringing back. I mean, Amy McPherson, who plays Raylan's wife, um, she was supposed to be a oneer, and uh, we loved her so much, we put her in the next episode, and we put her in the next episode. And uh, we just um, fell in love with her, and she was there for the rest of the season. I mean, Tierney, who's here, Tina Cassiani is another example. We, we put her in one episode as sort of a femme fatale type of character, and we just uh, fell in love with what she did, and the, the fans, the, the feedback was great. And then she became a huge part of the back end of the season, which had never been intended. So we just sort of rolled with it, and now, you know, she'll be a big part of season two as well. Good to hear. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you Marlon. And, you know, I will say, you know, the big influences, Starship Troopers, Star Trek, and Firefly. And I think we're going to definitely, just, you know, we're not plus, but we're going to, we want to lean into the Firefly of it all next season. They're going to be a little more, um, you know, they're not going to be stealing ships anymore. We're probably going to build a, a cool ship for them. A real, they, can, they can aim to misbehave. They can aim to misbehave, That's yeah. That's all right. It's going to be real shiny. Yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Yeah, right. you're welcome, Paul.